Welcome in, welcome in to all my friends. If you are new to the channel, welcome in. And thank you for allowing me to be your divinator. I am truly grateful for the opportunity. If you're returning, what's up? You already know what it is. How the fuck are ya? <laughs> I do have to preface this reading by saying this is a spiritual channel. We are spiritual beings. We discuss spiritual topics and we do spiritual teams up over here. If you're not on the spiritual journey, then this reading may not resonate with you, but that's okay. Cause we still gonna make it do what it do. Okay. This is going to be a twin flame reading. Cause I just received a message about the twin flame. And I'm kind of excited because I've been like, what the fuck is this 717 shit? <laughs> Why do I keep seeing this number? I've been seeing the 111, 212, and I recently just started seeing it. Um, I want to say earlier this year, maybe a couple months ago. Give me a little coffee, y'all. Sorry. Um, if you see some of these decks turned over, I haven't shuffled them yet. Um, I just, I did another reading. I wasn't even supposed to be doing a reading today because I already have one uploading or about to upload this afternoon. So, um, I was like, I'm chilling this morning. I'm going to work out. You know, I'm just going to chill, laze around, drink my coffee. But, oh, no. I, I seen 717 three times this morning. I'm like, How? How shway? None of my clocks got the same times on them. My microwave clock got a different time from my stove clock. My stove clock got a different time from my phone time. My other phone time got a different time from my other phone. My computer got a different time. Everything got a different time on. I'm like, what the fuck? So I got, and I get tired of resetting them and trying to put them back on the same time. So I just leave it. But anyway, that's nor here or there. All right, let's go ahead and get into this message, y'all. Let's get into the energy. Let me see what spirit has for you in the way of twin flame union. What messages? Um, spirit guys, please show me what I need to see. Archangels, please protect me as I intermingle in these energies. We got benefactor, grace, and generosity. This is going to be a quick reading, you guys. Um... And then hollow bone teachability is coming out. So the message I was getting with 717 is um, spiritual protection on both sides because the one in the middle is basically denoting a line of the oneness between you guys and what's happening on this side is also happening on this side because that's how the twin flame con union connection situation goes <laughs> all right and then i was also called to say preface this reading by saying not everybody is reuniting with the twin flame some of some people have not met their twin flame yet okay and we have we as readers have to take that into accountability um to account for uh toxicity and people staying stuck in toxic cycles that they're not supposed to be in thinking that somebody is their twin flame when they're not okay Listen to your intuition. Let that be your utmost guide. I am here for confirmations, as many other readers are as well. If the story doesn't fit for you, then it's possibly not your story. Or it possibly hasn't happened yet. Um, if you know you're in a toxic relationship, we're all grown here. There's no reason to sit around and be mistreated. That's how you get karma. Okay? All right, let's go. I know people think that's ass backwards. How am I going to get karma for getting mistreated? Because you allowed it. Okay. Yeah, we got star keepers, cosmic ancestors, seed the light by staying grounded. And this, this star ancestor has a shield around them. I feel like this is somebody's um, benefactors protecting them. 
there's some shit in the mix right now and that's what that 717 it's finally been made clear to me i swear to god it's been months that i've been sitting up here why do i keep seeing 717 and my son's birthday happens to be 717 july 17th my sister's birthday is july 17th so i'm like why am i keep on seeing this is this a message for my family like what is this hmm now i know we have empathetic star seed energetic sovereignty absorbing what's not yours so somebody is definitely projecting on somebody here um and someone's ancestors or who's ever monitoring this uh union is providing grace and benefit um, grace and generosity to the union at this time on both sides there's definitely some type of outside interference happening either on your side or on your person's side and in this case with the twin flames it could be both sides now this could be coming in by way of exes re-emerging it's 528 playing in the background <laughs> somebody asked um yeah now nah, i lost my train of thought but yeah, there's definitely could be some people coming in from the past. Somebody could have multiple people popping up from the past, like this Mercury retrograde or some shit. I don't have a lot of time now. That's why I'm rushing. Um, actually, I have all the time in the world. <laughs> now, let me quit saying that and I'm going to stop rushing. I do have to get to work, though, but it ain't that pressing. We have animals companionship. Y'all can't see the little word companionship right there, but it's there. Oh, look, the light is on it. Where is that little light coming from? Anyway, yeah, there's partnerships. There's people, animals, <laughs> the animals from the past coming back, trying to connect with people. We got wolves and sheep's clothing here. We got doppelgangers. We got people coming in pretending to be twin flames. Yeah, we got the moon here, darkness, secrets something being revealed or somebody hiding something and then we got seven here <sighs> okay let's get a fairy card to further help us along with this message you guys i felt i, I i'm actually really excited about this because i'm just been trying to figure out over and over and over again what is 717 and one by one i'm figuring out what they mean if you're into numerology it could help a lot when you start seeing the uh side by side numbers i don't want to call them double numbers because 11 11 would be a double number and 33 33 would be a double number i don't know what to call them the mirrored numbers i guess Shit, i don't know and even with the mirrored numbers i'm, I'm thinking 21 12 would be a mirrored number I don't know <laughs> the side by sides. I don't know what to call them, but the two one two, the three one three, the four one four. We <laughs> we are lost and found. Wow. It says lost and found. What was once lost is about to be found. Thanks to the lost and found fairy, sometimes she can help us find things we never even realized were lost. So this is definitely for somebody who has not been with their twin flame yet. You may have met this person, you may have encountered this person, you may have had exchanges with this person, but there has not been a relationship. And it says protect your dreams. You are the guardian of your precious dreams and they are safe in your care keep them close to your heart until you're ready to release them yeah somebody's heart chakra is getting opened up here i'm getting blown wide open blown wide open and there's going to be a, a need of protection here because there's some type of toxic shit going on in the energy and I feel like that's what that, I, and I'm okay. And another message that came in when I was asking, what is this 717? It was like, it's a sign. I'm like, okay, spirit, I know it's a sign. A sign about what? It's a sign um, that there's some heartbreak about to take place or, and that somebody's trying to cause it. With It was the three of swords and the five of swords. And I'm like, okay, this could be somebody causing their own heartbreak, denying the connection, or this could be some type of interference. from a third party whatever that third party is 
and so it's like they have it's like telling you to evoke meaning speak out say and ask for protection here for you and your person all right let's see what this benefactor is Spirit, show me <laughs> we have the magician <clears throat> oh this is to invoke your oh they're telling you to protect yourself like they can only do so much so something could be happening and it's like yeah you have spiritual protection but you also need to protect yourself you need to ask for help and then you also need to protect yourself now yeah ten of air y'all ten of swords Woo! at the bottom of the deck there's a lesson here show me this hollow bone teachability so the, the magician is saying, use the tools around you, use your environment, um, use what you have, use the skills and knowledge that you possess to protect yourself. And we got the six of water and your person. There's definitely something happening or coming from someone's past that's uh, trying to teach them a lesson or it's a it's a test. As some people will call it when these people come back. Are you going to accept these people back or have you learned? We got death, transformation. Is it over, over? Is it really over? And are you ready for this union? Definitely picking up heavily. Like this is the first time somebody's coming into contact with their person. Um, for a lot of you, this could be the first sexual encounter for you and your person. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I just don't understand why everybody thinks that the twin flame just automatically is somebody that you already done been with. No, that's not always the case. Yeah, you've been with them already in a past life, most likely, but not necessarily in this life. Show me the star keeper. We got the ace of earth. Yeah, there's a new opportunity here that's being protected. Somebody needs to remain grounded. I feel like there's somebody trying to work someone up in the energy, like provoke them is what I'm getting. We got the queen of earth. This could be a long time partner. Somebody who has a uh, Taurus Capricorn or Virgo in their chart. So I'm, yeah, we got the two of air. Yeah, this is somebody. Oh, no, this is the page of air. My bad. So somebody it could be making a choice. And somebody's being watched. Somebody's also might, might be trying to figure something out here. And also someone's learning how everything is not theirs. Somebody could be just figuring out that, there's a, that they are an empath. That this is one of the gifts that they have. They can pick up on other people's feelings and emotion and actually feel them as if they were their own. We got the high priestess in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, this is somebody who doesn't know that they have that, um, I was going to say power, but ability. Show me companionship, animals. This is what's happening on the 3D. Yeah, somebody could be stuck in, in a partnership where they feel like they're stuck or they're seeing partnerships in a different light. So you're either dealing with somebody who's been non-committal in the past, someone who's not very interested in deep romantic partnerships and they're seeing that in a different light or they have been in a long-term partnership with someone that hasn't been fulfilling their needs and they haven't been fulfilling that person's needs and is not really going anywhere and they're just staying together for whatever reason and they're looking at that through their spiritual eyes now understanding that it's just a waste of time all right show me the moon what's hidden here mm. what's hidden is that somebody wants a new beginning so somebody could not be expressing to whoever, even to themselves, that they want a new beginning, that they want something with you. We got the lovers at the bottom of the deck. It just says love, but it's the lovers. Mm -hmm. Somebody could have Leo highly aspected in their chart. All right. 
let's clarify this page just to make sure my energetic read on it is correct i'm looking at this as somebody who's uh realizing something who's learning something about their own self and their own abilities maybe even about their spiritual journey i'm seeing the card pathway out of this deck in my mind's eye Oh, somebody could also be learning here, too, that they're picking up on other people's bad habits. Like, it's easy for them to consume other people's bad habits and also their bad health, okay? And also, they can pick up when somebody is in bad health. All right, show me page of air. Distant horizon. Yeah, this is somebody who's realizing their path forward realizing their journey ahead realizing where they're supposed to be and who they are who they're who they're who they are supposed to be this person could be concerned about this somebody could have told someone they had a mental health issue okay and i'm also picking up on the second level of that energy too that somebody is watching this connection and they are concerned this could be another lover they are definitely in despair. Somebody doesn't want to let someone go here. We got 32, 33. Yeah, there's an ending coming about in the near future. I'm also getting here too. Somebody's watching someone walk away from them. <clears throat> okay. And I am going to clarify a second time with the... Um, sexual magic tarot deck those cards i will not be putting up to the camera i keep saying that but i still always do it <laughs> for some damn reason all right oh no 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 we're not doing all that show me this magician we got the three of pentacles here. Somebody's manifesting. And I feel like somebody's spirit guides are helping bring this uh, spiritual contract, spiritual union together to be fulfilled. Yeah, nine of cups. <laughs> this is wish fulfillment. And it is, there is angels. There's your spirit team, your person's spirit team. Everybody's around this. Cheering, <laughs> cheering it on. Somebody's really close to union with their person. Like, I mean, really close. Like, I mean, so close you could taste it. <laughs> Show me the six of cups. Woo, we got the seven of swords. You a lie. I know you fucking lying. That's what somebody said. <laughs> the devil. We got the high priestess in reverse here. What in the fuck? This is somebody's past coming back lying to them. And somebody is not trusting their intuition here. This is somebody with a get that's trying to give this person an opportunity to keep themselves stuck in the mud, stuck in a rut. This is somebody that's hiding something, that's concealing a secret, trying to force somebody to stay, but you have no power here is what I'm getting with the lovers at the bottom of the deck. You have no power here. Well, with love at the bottom of the deck, there's no lovers in this deck, but this is the lovers. Which I believe the lover, lovers is uh, number six. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. Can't remember. All right, show me the Ace of Earth. The magician again spirit is saying protect this new opportunity by all means by any means and they're protecting it spiritually too somebody could be trying to do magic here somebody definitely could be trying to force their energy on someone we got the moon here twice somebody could be doing moon magic somebody could be doing inc incantation spells i'm also getting like somebody could be using physical items of someone's I'm getting somebody's shoes. Somebody did a spell on somebody's shoes so they can't leave. Yeah, we got the Eight of Cups in reverse. So they'll always come back to them. Somebody could be holding on to something of someone's. Woo, this is getting wicked. We got the um, Knight of Swords. Somebody saw, oh, if you are in contact with this person, 
maybe y'all just met maybe y'all been flirting around and texting whoever's connected to you or connected to this person you know everybody needs to have a nice sneaky link still before you come into a relationship with somebody like casually dating other people or whatever somebody went through somebody's uh phone or social media and seen somebody's messages we got the page of swords with the knight of swords this is talking about looking at learning about some type of communication the knight of swords is a messenger he's coming to bring clear concise communication Somebody could have learned about a plan to meet a date that was set. Ooh, ten of swords at the bottom of the day. I can't make none of this shit up. Somebody feels betrayed. This is the lovers in reverse. Number six, yeah. It is number six. Something's ending with somebody. Somebody could have straight up told somebody. It's over. I don't know. There is a painful ending here, though, and somebody ain't going out like that. Like no punk. <laughs> Show me the hangman. We got the nine of cups. Somebody's realizing where where they feel fulfilled at. I'm, uh, somebody's realizing that they do want companionship, not just a fuck. And they're going towards it. They're leaving some type of tumultuous situation. Somebody doesn't know how it's going to turn out, but they're finding the, comp the confidence in themselves to balance it out, make something clear and tell the truth, take action. I'm here and clear the air with somebody. Show me the full. The seven of wands. This is protected. <laughs> Somebody's taking a leap of faith and little do they know it's a protected leap of faith. They don't, they're still, whoever this is, is scared. I feel that energy with this moon and this companionship. This is somebody who doesn't, is so used to something. Someone could have been with someone since they was 21 years old. So they're really like stuck in that. But there ain't no love. There ain't no reciprocity. This ain't no good connection. Look at this shit. Two of Pentacles in reverse, no reciprocity. Night, uh, King of Cups in reverse. There's no exchange of love. This person does not give love. And the Two of Cups in reverse. This is not a soulmate connection. This is. This could have. <laughs> this was somebody doing their duty. I just seen the King of uh, Pentacles. So the energy has been severed here with the Two of Pentacles in reverse. This person ain't going back and forth no, with you no more. I'm living my best life. <laughs> oh, look, there's the King of Pentacles right there. Ain't going back and forth with you, nigga. <laughs> Somebody's happy. I can feel that. It's like one person's happy and one person's sad. But you and your person is about to be happy. I know, We got the magician here twice, so please keep that in mind. Keep manifesting and holding your vision on what it is that you want. Don't be doing no spell work. It's unnecessary. You have divine protection here already. Um, and you are protected from any spell work. All right. Show me the seven of swords. <clears throat> the eight of pentacles. Somebody keep lying over and over and over again. This is somebody who's trying to come back into somebody's life. Uh, bringing up fond memories, but they're lying and they keep doing the same thing over and over again. Or this is you that keeps going back into the same cycle with somebody from your past over and over again. And Spirit said, how teachable are you? This is a test. Don't let... Mm -mm. We got the high priestess in the upright this time. Somebody already knows that if they take somebody back, they're just going to do the same shit again. Show me the Spirit Pentacles. We got the Empress. Oh, is that the Empress? Yes, that is the Empress. Oh, I said I wasn't going to show y'all these goddamn cards. <laughs> Dang. With the Ace of Pentacles, we've seen the Ace of Pentacles three times now. The Magician two times now. This is a beautiful opportunity that has manifested and come into the 3D reality here. And there is a lot of opposition against it. 
this is a spiritual contract with the empress here and the empress is helping manifest this along with your benefactors your uh spiritual team here show me the magician with the ace of pentacles the page of pentacles somebody's learning how to stay grounded I, whoever this is your person is learning how to stay grounded they're at the beginning stages of how to not let somebody else affect their environment it's like sometimes this person let too much of their outside influences affect what they want and they never got what they want and they're starting to understand that now three of wands yeah they always been left waiting and wanting Tell me about this page of swords, knight of swords. The two of swords. Didn't I say two of swords when that page of swords came out? I just want to show y'all this. Let me cover her naked ass up. That's say the two up, which you can't really see it because my camera going blurry because there ain't no light. That is the two of swords. Anyway, I ain't got proven. It is. <laughs> That's crazy. So, yeah, somebody's telling somebody that they need to make a choice. Somebody could be giving someone an ultimatum here because it was some information that they've seen. King of Cups. And then somebody's saying, um, excuse me. I'm going towards where I'm going to give love to. And I'm, I'm going to give love to this companionship. Show me those two of swords. The four of cups. This person is saying, I'm going, I see the signs. I'm going towards what I've been wanting this whole time. Show me the full seven of wands. Ten of swords. Okay, this is giving me like somebody is trying to fuck somebody's shit up or uh, mess up somebody's stability in some type of way. This uh, seven of wands is here because you're being protected. That's what that 717 is. Somebody's doing something to try to tear somebody's situation down so they can't leave. After they were told, no, we're not reuniting. I'm going elsewhere is the scenario. I'm going towards my twin flame. Um... I don't know how it's going to turn out, but I feel a connection and a strong pull towards this person. And we've been on this roller coaster ride for how long? And I'm not doing it no more. I'm out. Bitch, I'm out. <laughs> Show me this ten of swords. <laughs> what is this? The Eight of Swords. Yeah, somebody's doing... I can't make this shit up. The Ten of Swords to the Eight of Swords. Somebody said, I'm finna tear your shit up. I'm finna tear your car up. I'm finna tear your place up. I'm finna go up to your job. Uh, <laughs> somebody real crazy right now. Real, real crazy. Four of Swords. Oh, all right. Let me see what this uh, Page of Pentacles is real quick before I do any more clarifications. Where are we at with time? Okay, I got a little bit. Show me this page of pentacles up here with the magician. <clears throat> the privileged lady. Somebody's slowly realizing who someone is. Someone's slowly learning who you are to them. I feel a little rush. I think I got a little crush on you. I hope it's not too much. Hey, show me this King of Cups. My heart singing. Okay, we got poverty here. Yeah, this is somebody who has not had love. This is somebody who's just been going and going and going, and they always wanted to know what that feeling would feel like. This is foreign to somebody. This is somebody, like I said, that's about their duty. Like they put duty above everything. <laughs> they never had an official person. They don't know what that feels like. 
this person has been spiritually no i don't want to say spiritually this person has been this is the physical has physically been without that emotional companionship yeah they probably had partners probably had situations whatever whatnot but they've never had anything like this and they don't this feeling is foreign to them so they they coming in right here as the page of pentacles and it's just like that song said i think i got a little crush on you i hope it's not too much show me this empress with her titties all out the six of swords yeah somebody's leaving their situation what is this to go towards their empress they know that this empress has what oh baby you you got what i need <laughs> and he say he's just the friend show me this eight of pentacles or she say he's just a friend i don't know eight of wands yeah somebody's saying the same old shit that they always say um we got the eight eight which is infinity 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 they just keep on one that we got eight 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 on the board <clears throat> yeah this is definitely from somebody's past they could have broken up i don't know how the situation went down but somehow you and this person met the star cross lovers locked eyes and it was over and then we have, I just realized this card says protect too. That's what I've been talking about this whole fucking time. Protect your dreams. Yeah. Show me this page of pentacles. I just looked over there and seen that. They told me to reiterate it's protect. We got a tower here. Yeah, this is shocking to this person because like I said, this is a good tower. It's like they they never thought they would meet anybody like you. They never thought they would get their wish fulfillment. They never thought that anybody could fill the void that they had that they never even knew they had <laughs> oh this is so beautiful this is so beautiful all right show me this king of cups somebody's been emotionally mm, barren is the word nine of pentacles yeah this person's been in a single business like it's all about business they could even look that companionship that companionship as a transactional thing like i've been hurt before i ain't doing that shit again <laughs> who would want that i'm for real that's how somebody was approaching this all right y'all give me one second um one second Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I still got a few more minutes. Let's get the shadow aspects here, spirit. Oh, somebody's captivated by your beauty. It ain't your booty. It's your beauty. <clears throat> oh, rejection at the bottom of the deck. Somebody could have been put off by your beauty, too. Like, somebody didn't. Oh, somebody could have rejected you at first, or this didn't get off the ground at first uh, for some of you guys because somebody was intimidated by your looks. They thought you were going to reject them or that you wanted to use them in some type of way. Mm -hmm. What is this? hollow bone shadow aspect what's going on here phoenix rising yeah somebody trying to come back from the dead they trying to relive old fun memories and blah 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 they want this part they're trying to give this person faith that they can make it bruh let me stop being cynical rejection came out again the towers here rejection this could be somebody's fear again i'm getting the sense that somebody thinks something is too good to be true 
this could be this person's tactic down here is to make them reject anything else coming their way or to reject this privileged lady. Somebody has gotten hint of this partnership. I'm telling you that right now. Also, somebody's family and tribe could reject you too. Somebody's family is going to, oh Lord. And Spirit said, see the light by staying grounded. Don't do no extras. You know, don't get out of, don't get out of your body. <laughs> As Kevin Gates would say, show me this empathetic star seed. Just keep shining your light. That's all you could do. Show them how healed you are. And this person, whoever was spying on you or looked at something or saw something, they saw you were a healer. This person's in the Four of Cups. This is giving me like bribing. It's like we can heal this. We can like ultimatum. All this shit. It's like somebody's desperate to try to repair something with someone. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's gonna work, y'all. Everybody has free will though, so I can't say what your person gonna do. Self sabotage here. Yeah, this person's been self sabotaging for a long time especially partnerships this this is going to be difficult for somebody yeah somebody only been having sexual uh escapades or sexual encounters no companionship though so somebody's in this uh nine of pentacles energy like i got everything by myself why the hell would i need a companion but they do have someone that they've been dealing with and maybe it wasn't serious maybe it was off and on maybe it's back and forth maybe it's I don't know what the fuck it is, but it's unhealthy, whatever it is. We got home. Somebody could live with someone or somebody knows where someone lives and they're trying to come to their house or something or threatening to come to their house. Somebody could have seen where you live. That's what I'm getting here. Like maybe somebody seen an address or uh looked you up y'all if this person starts backing away from you believe me they're sad but there's some threatening happening here some type of threats let's get the positive aspects here that's why that 717 is coming in saying protect yourself somebody's fucking local local in my cabeza Somebody is fucking psychotic. I wish a bitch would show up at my house. Huh? Maybe they're just threatening that. Because we got the fool here. <laughs> Ooh, maybe they already did do it in secret. I don't know. Somebody seen something though. Something was exposed here. Orphaned. Yeah, this person. <laughs> oh, you're you remind me of a girl that I once knew. See your face whenever I, I look at you. Wouldn't believe all of the things she put me through. This is why I can't whatever you said, I just can't get with you. Ow! Damn, this person was abandoned by somebody who uh, looked like you. <laughs> well, I don't want to say they look exactly like you, but you know, maybe your beauty, how pretty you are. Maybe somebody beautiful in the past, this, them. Oh, Lord. Lord, and they ain't never been the same. So they've been sticking with this ugly duckling. <laughs> my, my chicken head. Whoever this is down here that's rising from the dead. Looking just like the walking dead. Um, we got a higher power here. <laughs> That's intervening in whatever trickery plot plan this person has going on. They might gonna be learning a lesson themselves. Hmm. Show me rejection. I ain't mad about nothing. Whatever way this play out is how it was meant to. Why? This person didn't even know why they rejected you. 
I was like, dang, why would I reject this person? I feel like that was in the past, though, or they weren't really, what do you call it, um, interested in continuing anything with you, or like maybe, you know, y'all had a brief interlude and a little conversation, a couple of messages here and there, there, this person could have been rude, that's because they was already involved in something over here that they thought was going somewhere, which it wasn't, yeah, now they're trying to clean it up. Because they can't for the life of them understand why they would not want the empress. Except for that wounding that they needed to heal from being rejected themselves in the past. Mm -hmm. They weren't finna give you an opportunity to do the same thing. I'm getting this person been dating down ever since they was rejected by somebody who was very beautiful. Now they feel like people that look like that person or who you know, have similar characteristics or who they think is very, very attractive is out of their league now. And so they date <laughs> bumpkins. I don't know what to call them. Building blocks. Everybody beautiful in their own way, but you know, we all have our preferences and we all have a standard of beauty, whatever and whatnot. I'm not here to judge anybody. Yeah, this person's been working on healing. I feel like um, there's something about you, maybe the uh, conversations that you and this person has is healing and maybe somebody's seen and noticed that and they're like, oh my God, you're making this person understand their feelings is what I'm getting. And it's, it's, it's so simple. It's so simple. Whatever you're doing is so simple. They have not had that. I'm hearing that Beyonce song. It is so simple. I don't even know what the fuck it's saying. I don't know. I ain't gonna get into it. I just heard that part of it. Leo, you gonna have to wait, brother. Keep knowing. Or deep knowing. I said keep knowing. <laughs> Somebody deep down inside know that they self-sabotage because they're afraid. They're afraid to love. They're afraid to give up their singledom. So whoever this person is dealing with over here that's trying to come back, they ain't together, but they have some type of situation. They could even be living together. This could be a baby mama. Um, I don't know. We have the fates. As the fates would have it, you are the divine feminine. And you do have a loyal heart. And that's what this person didn't realize and understand. We got a loyal heart. The fates brought in a divine feminine. This person didn't see this coming. Now they a fool for you. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a fool for that. When you be out on dates, you be texting me too. Telling me to come pick you up when he drop you off. I pray to God he ain't breaking you off. Hey, that's that tattoo song. I don't want nobody but you. Kissing on my tattoos. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Let's see what this cosmic uh, insights have to say. We got a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We could be dealing with some water. You could have that highly aspected in your chart or your person can. We did see the King of Cups here. We have honeymoon, honeymoon phase, attending someone's wedding. Yeah, y'all are, this is somebody who's just in the honeymoon, the sweet talking stages I, I felt that off top mercury retrograde over here with companionship animals electronic issues communication issues reviewing everything yeah somebody's still thinking this is too good to be true they're still uncertain and i'm also getting there could be somebody doing something hmm Show me hollow bone teachability. Gambling was at the bottom. We got pets again. What's up with this animal shit? Getting a new pet, giving a current pet more love. This person could be trying to like 
this person could be taking care of this person that's coming back from the past or could have been, or this person is coming in lying, saying they need their help, they need a place to stay, just creating challenges or bringing their problems onto this person. Make a decision, work on inner healing. Yeah, they're giving this person, like, I, after all we've been through, I need your help and you ain't gonna be there for me, blah, 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 blah. blah. Luck is on your side. Mm -hmm. And then we have pregnancy. Oh my God. I was not expecting that. Somebody is going to get pregnant or somebody is saying they're pregnant. Or this is what this part ten of swords, eight of swords. Somebody trying to trap somebody with a pregnancy. Boy, oh boy! Wow, that could cause. That's what could cause this disconnect, or what did? I don't know where you guys are in this particular. Okay, let me see about this. What's up with this pregnancy spirit? Show me. Well, damn, card came right out. Yeah, somebody's trying to create confusion by saying they're pregnant. They're not. The spirit said that's a hell no, they not. Death in reverse. Or are they trying to say they had a miscarriage? This card wanted to come out. Yeah, they was hoping that this person would marry them or whatever. But the truth is coming out. Justice will prevail and this person is going to take action. They ain't trying to hear that other shit. We got the moon here too. This is a past life love. I'm hearing something about walking the fire for you. Um, let's do these romance angels. This person might be coming towards you to get away from whatever they've been dealing with with this other person. Who they have some type of duty or responsibility or loyalty to. They, they were loyal to this person for a long time. I'm getting that. This person tried to slow something down. This queen of pentacles tried to slow something down for this person by saying they were pregnant or using some type of children against them in some type of way. This person didn't think they was ever going to find happiness. They've been melancholy. They could have even been depressed, having bad thoughts about themselves, not feeling worth anything. Belittled. Hmm. Hold on, I was supposed to get one more in here. What is up with this water signs? Show me. Uh, we got communication now at the bottom of the deck. Intimacy. Sexual chemistry reminiscing. <clears throat> this person could be dealing with a water sign. Or that's how this person views you. Or you have a lot of water in your chart. And you're very nurturing and loving. And that's the part that they haven't been getting. Shit, this person might have never even knew a person could be like that towards them. Or that there were people like that that still existed. Wow, I'm almost at that point. We got honeymoon here again. Again, this is somebody, y'all are in the basic first stages. This is not somebody you've been fucking with. This ain't uh, punking them from your past or <laughs> whoever, nigga. This ain't that. Yeah, codependency. This person has someone that's codependent on them. And that's what Spirit just saying. Take guard on. Understanding that that's about. So when you see in 717, this person is either needing to protect themselves, you're needing to ask for protection, and you need to protect yourself. This person might not be that spiritual, so they may not know. So protect both of y'all. Just throwing it out there. And then this is somebody who's too trying to get back to basics with this person. Yeah, finances and career. Didn't I tell y'all this person was dutiful? They're dutiful. That they were doing relationships backwards. Mercury retrograde. Mm -hmm. We have forgiving and learning coming right down here on this. Uh, teachability don't do it don't do it forgiving and learning you could forgive this person you learn the lesson and move on don't let this person turn you back into their pet we got 
yes, luck is on your side. This is true love. You and this person could be an empath. Y'all could share feelings and emotions. And y'all might be feeling each other's feelings and emotions. Also, when 717 comes around. And then it says you deserve love. Very soon, decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Very soon, and you deserve love. That's what somebody feeling right now, that they're getting the love that they always didn't even know they wanted. Let your friends help you. Somebody's friends could be intervening in this too. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, this is your spiritual team that's intervening here. Compromise, forgive, work it out. Somebody is desperately trying to work this out with this person. I say, fuck no. <laughs> fuck no. My daughter got me saying that shit. <laughs> My daughter's 21, y'all. Calm down. She's grown. She can cuss. She can cuss. Fuck no. <laughs> Angel says, listen to your intuition. It's going to guide you the best. It's going to guide you the best. And you're ready. Somebody's ready. Mm -hmm. Now I'm rushing because I got to go. We got romance here. Somebody's feeling this and they ain't felt this. Like, ooh, I'm getting tingly all over. It's so cute. It's so cute. I feel like they haven't felt this shit since they was in high school or maybe their early 20s, whoever I'm talking to here. Maybe this is like a puppy love to them and it's, it's stirring up some... We did have the Page of Pentacles there, so it's stirring up some youthful energy in them. Yeah, it's the perfect time. Spirit said, not now, right now. Not now, right now. <laughs> trust at the bottom of the deck. This person is trying to trust these feelings, but they're so foreign. Extraterrestrial. <laughs> She said, your love is foreign, extraterrestrial. That's my one of my fucking favorite songs. Yes, I like Katy Perry. Don't judge me. What do you need to release? I told y'all that I got a lot of genres of music that I listen to. I'm not just stuck on one genre genre whatever the fuck however you say it <laughs> what do you need to release and look where it came right on this whole spread of this person coming back from the past lying and trying to make somebody uh repeat a cycle here trying to get somebody under their control you control pets right mm -hmm. even though we don't want to act like we do but we do we control them uh, spirit saying what do you need to release how teachable are you you already know where this shit goes. Somebody's stuck between a um, rock and a hard place, they feel like. A fiery climax approaches. Oh, I bet. Full moon in Aries. <laughs> yeah, with this romance. Oh, my God. Somebody about to be uh drenched, quenched. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Nothing will come of this situation. Whatever this person is trying to do, Spirit is saying, nothing's going to come of that shit. So keep trying. Keep on trying. It ain't working. We are protecting you and you need to protect yourself. Also, you might need to increase your efforts too when you see 717. Send positive thoughts. Say positive affirmations for you and your person. Um, if y'all are in contact, reach out. I mean, don't be annoying. But and don't be forceful, just let things flow naturally. But it's protect yourself, say a little prayer. I say a little prayer for you forever. And okay, I'm gonna stop. Don't let your past hold you back. <laughs> I'm too fucking good. Get that dirt off my shoulder. Adjustments are required. So that's what spirit is also saying with 717 is that adjustments are required. This person and yourself could be going through something. 
that you need to protect yourself from or that could be jeopardizing this uh, partnership here. I have no more cards, y'all. That's everything. I really appreciate you guys, and I'll see you next time.